All right, so got my hands on a new tool here. Um, basically, let's open it up and let's take a look and see what's inside. All right, so we got this unit from Tesla, right? It's a articulating bar scope. So I'm gonna open it up here. Just got this, so just bear with me here. All right, so in this unit, what I'm seeing here is the it comes with the manual instruction, um, some cleaning wipes, the USB charger, and the unit itself. All right, so I did some homework on this before I purchased it. Right, um, basically they're saying that the let me see this here. This is the scope diameter. I believe this one is the 6.2 millimeter, and they have a bigger one, which is like the the 8.5 millimeter one, right? Which so um, is a two-way articulating probe, right? They say it goes up to 210 degrees. It, if it's bent back that way or either way, but I believe I, I won't go no more than 190. I mean, give me 190, like 180 on it, right? It's real small, um, easy control probe, and it can in, you can use it industrial, um, servicing, automotive, anything of that nature. Um, but basically, use to any of any application you wanted to, you know, um, is IP. 67 I believe which is waterproof and it comes with a five feet cable it's gonna unravel this out here um, let's move the casing the casing is not too bad either yeah nice little you know, mold to it right um so let me give you a shot of the how long it is so it's five feet cable Right, and it also comes with a memory card. They say the memory card is on the side, right here. I'm kind of trying to do this with one hand. So it comes with a memory card. I believe it's a 32 gig memory card, and it have a charging port to the side of it. And some, right? Um. What else it has? It also connects to your Wi-Fi, so you can just transfer your pictures or your videos or something like that across to your phone. Also, too, you can connect your phone to it, so I could whatever I'm seeing on my phone or my tablet or something like that, I can also see on the screen. So I'm just going to power it up while I run through some of the things I looked up. Um, the cost for it is like I believe it's like 300 US. Um, 200 bucks on Amazon or AliExpress. Um, it is JPG image and AVI video recording, right? Um, looks like so on the specs. Got a reset button to the back of it right here. Um, this is speaker on. Oh, on the side here you have a, a mic, so basically you can activate the volume on it, right? Um. This model is the T, TD500, and I believe it have a TD800, which is the bigger, um, the bigger one. Well, not really bigger one, the bigger probe diameter. Let's take this light off, All right? So if you press this button here, as you saw I did, you can take the light off and make it brighter and dimmer, All right? Um, what else I see on this? This screen is five inches, IPS LCD screen, and uh, it's 1080 or 720, right? Um, oh, also what I read in the manual. Let me see what I read. They said that you the temperature is the temperature working range is shouldn't exceed 78 degrees, right? There's only so the this pro part is only waterproof, not this part. So make sure you don't spill no water in it. It's a semi-rigid cable. It's kinda, you know, you can flex it here, backwards like that, right? And I believe the, it use any USB charger, but you gotta make sure that it's not the one to like overcharge the unit. And I believe when I read in the manual, they say, if you're not using it for a long period of time, 
we should power it up, you know, off and on. So I said it's kind of hard to do this while I'm taping, right? So let's take a look at what happens when I move the screen, right? So I'm going all the way back, all right? Very good. All right, so what I like about this unit is is a handheld unit, not like my other boroscope where I gotta attach it to my phone, all right? So it goes in this nice little case like this. I'm able to put back on the cap. It comes with a cap. You just just rest on top of the probe area, nice like that, and then you you can wrap that back inside the here the cable, wrap the cable back inside the case, and you know. As I said, uh, I'm not mad at the the purchase. Is a uh, it looks like a very useful tool that I'm gonna use actually, because I can use it for like head gasket issues. Um, go into a radiator. Um, exhaust, um, you know, if I drop my 10 millimeter, <laughs> you know, we always drop our 10 millimeters between the engine, so I can go and look for it now, you know, um, look through different corners. Yeah, so it's a good tool. I like it. I love it, actually. Um, as I said, I have all the boroscope. I have another boroscope, but it's kind of limited due to the angle and the, the features on it is very poor. Like the quality of the videos and stuff like that. I had to actually, that, it just irritated me sometimes. It is useful, it gets the job done, but I really needed something more with a kick. So, if you like the tool, I'm leaving a link in the description, right? You hit that link up and your assistance towards the page. I appreciate it. So, y'all take it easy. Like, just subscribe, share, comment. You know how we do. Until next time. Yeah, I couldn't wait to use this tool. So I got this customer that got having um an issue in his vehicle. I believe um he said he gained low compression when he did the compression test. So I figured I'll use my boroscope to go down the cylinder and see if I see anything of the sort. You know, um check out the valves, check out the the piston walls, stuff like that. Um yeah, I mean as you can see this the picture is really clean. Right, um, let me see if I can get a view of the valves or something like that. Just give me a minute real quick. Right, so right now I'm just attempting to, I'm down in the spot, but I'm trying to um, turn it, the camera up so I can see the valves. Let's hold on real quick. Let's say you can adjust the lights. You see in the little hatch marks on the cylinder wall, which is real clean. You know, I like the detail. Probably I need to, you know, dim the light a little bit. But as I said, man, you see in a lot of good the details that that's in the cylinder while you know um while I got the scope inside of the hole. You know, as I said, man, I'm really pleased with this camera. I have no complaints. I'm I plan on using it more. I'm gonna use it more. Right? Um this is me turning all the way back to the two hundred and ten like they state. Right now, um, where you can see the valves right now. I believe this is what the intake valve. Yeah, this is the intake valve that's open right now. So I just push the camera down a little bit more, and as you can see, how far I can turn the camera to see if I see any um build up. But as I said, man, thanks for watching. I hope you like what you see. Until next time, later.